Let's talk more about state constitutions. What kind of rights did state constitutions identify and protect? Well, the drafters of the early state constitutions were certainly rights conscious. They had read the second paragraph of the Declaration of Independence. Many of the rights that found their ways into state constitutions came from a variety of sources, however. They're not just 17th century ideas. For example, the common law protected the right to a trial by jury and a trial by jury to one's peers and the protection against cruel and unusual punishments. Those are rights that were rights of British subjects that found their way into state constitutions. Other rights did reflect natural rights theory, particularly freedom of conscience, freedom of religious belief. And then finally, some rights that appear in constitutions were reactions to the way the British had been treated, particularly with respect to the rights of the criminally accused the requirements for specific warrants rather than general warrants. They were reacting against how the British had treated them. There were really only three rights so basic that they found their ways into all of the state constitutions. Right of conscience or the free exercise of religion, the right to a trial according to the rules of the common law, including the right to a jury trial, and the right to a local jury. You haven't, you didn't mention free speech. Was that uh, a right that was recognized in state constitutions? Well, the, the guarantee of free speech, of course, today, if you were to poll Americans, they would say that's our, our number one most important right. Ironically, it appeared only in the Constitution of Pennsylvania. Press was considered a much more important right at the time. And, and perhaps that makes sense given changes in technology and so forth because so much of the speech that we value today is speech in a medium other than uh, the written press. But the right of a free press was very important at the time. Only New York and New Jersey failed to recognize the right of a free press. Freedom to petition government for the redress of grievances, a right that many people today probably wouldn't even know is in the Bill of Rights to the United States Constitution, appeared in all the constitutions except New Jersey and South Carolina. Six states either permitted state religions or favored religious sects. Seven states, however, prevented the clergy from serving in elective office. Five states prohibited the government from taking private property without just compensation which is a nod to the Lockean notion of the importance of private property. So we see tremendous diversity among the states with respect to the rights that they protect.